verses 22 to 28. A house divided cannot stand. Today, in the United States, the population is becoming very polarized. Many people have decided that they can no longer be friends with people who disagree with them politically. Families are becoming broken apart because of this, and friendships have ended. I say we must end this kind of shenanigans, totally balderdash, if you ask me. We must respect others' opinions, especially when it comes to our First Amendment rights, we have the right to free speech. Hate speech is another story. No one likes racists. However, today if someone expresses their opinions, it might be labeled as hate speech just to silence the other person. Saying I like cats better than dogs doesn't make me canine phobic. People need to lighten up a little and start wearing boxers instead of shorts. Jesus talked about this in Matthew chapter 12 verses 22 to 28. Then one was brought to him who was demon possessed, blind and mute, and he healed him, so that the blind and mute man both spoke and saw. And all the multitudes were amazed and said, Could this be the son of David? Now when the Pharisees heard it they said, This fellow does not cast out demons except by Beelzebub, the ruler of the demons. But Jesus knew their thoughts, and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself will not stand. If Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then will his kingdom stand? And if I cast out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore they shall be your judges. But if I cast out demons by the Spirit of God, surely the kingdom of God has come upon you. What Jesus was saying was that only love can cast out evil and evil itself cannot cast out evil. The reason is that for evil to exist, it needs evil. If the devil is to cast out evil, the devil himself, is dividing evil and therefore evil will diminish and the devil does not want that. Only love can conquer evil. When love does, evil will diminish. If a house divides itself, one good and one bad then it will fall. Like a house of cards it will collapse on itself. Today, we must stand up like in 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 12 which reads Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. We must stand up to evil. Many people are weak and when they see things they are easily manipulated to doing evil things. Take Jonestown, for example, I guarantee the guards who shot the innocent people trying to escape into the jungle probably weren't evil people but were influenced by evil to do evil things. Jim Jones was good at manipulating people into doing evil things. Likewise, we must stand up against evil. When we see the governments around the world saying we must show vaccine cards to buy, shop, sell or move around freely, it reminds us that the 666 or mark of the beast is nearby. We must stand up and fight this fight against evil. Those who stand idly by or move away, do not want to fight, nor do they want to end evil. They never cared about evil taking over. Like Isaiah said, the end of time will come when evil becomes good and good becomes evil. Let's stand up and fight the good fight against evil. Remember only love and kindness can defeat evil not evil itself. Love conquers all. Like in 1 John chapter 4 verses 7 to 21. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God, and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Anyone who does not love does not know God, because God is love. In this the love of God was made manifest among us, that God sent His only Son into the world, so that we might live through Him. In this is love, not that we have loved God but that He loved us and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God abides in us and His love is perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in Him and He in us, because He has given us of His Spirit. And we have seen and testified that the Father has sent His Son to be the Savior of the world. Whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, God abides in Him, and He in God. So we have come to know and to believe the love that God has for us. God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God, and God abides in Him. By this is love perfected with us, so that we may have confidence for the day of judgment, because as He is so also are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not been perfected in love. We love because He first loved us. If anyone says, I love God, and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. And this commandment we have from Him, 
Whoever loves God must also love his brother. Remember, God is love. So let's go home and love our neighbors as we would love ourselves. That will do it for today. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace out and love you all.